I'm Sophie Ali here reporting for Because, and we are here at the Schaumburg Corporate Center for the Schaumburg Park Foundation Holiday Bazaar. We have over 35 vendors here today, so let's go check them out. I'm here with Kip Uchadel, who's the project coordinator here at the Schaumburg Park District and also puts on this wonderful event to benefit the Schaumburg Park Foundation. Kippy, how long has this particular event been going on? Well, actually, this event has been going on for more than 34 years. I remember coming here when my son was in, in preschool and bringing my daughter in a stroller here and looking through the different vendors and artists. As the years gone by, has, I would have never believed that I'd be now organizing this event. And I've been doing this now for approximately, I believe, more than 17 years in organizing this event here at the Schomburg Corporate Center. So it has been going on a long time, and we've had an array of vendors and artists throughout the years, which has been just fabulous to see how many events for the small business they, they actually can create. That's very neat. And I know before we had mentioned that there's over 35 vendors, which is just, you look around and it, it's very cool to see all these different people coming together so that you can get your, your holiday shopping done. Um, now this event goes to the Schaumburg Park Foundation. Can you tell me a little bit about the foundation and what the money goes towards? Sure. The foundation is the arm of the district. All proceeds benefit 100% throughout the community. We have done the senior bus, we have given money for um, Bison's Bluff, the natural playground area over there. We have given money to scholarships and the latest we've also given money to our Monarch Butterfly Initiative which promotes the Monarch um, Butterfly to be around for many more years. We've also given money to Katrina um, when the floods were there and stuff. We have just contributed throughout the community as much as we can. So as you can see, it's definitely a great foundation to support. And Gibby, my last question for you, what um, type of vendors are here today? We have such an assortment. We have a teddy bear where they make actually teddy bears with the machine going around. We have Tastefully Simple. We have jewelry. We have personalized ornaments. We have handmade knitted items that are just fabulous to look at. So we have so much stuff to offer here. If you can't find that gift for that special person, um, you need to come out and look at our craft fair. It's still open. To, it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's the second Tuesday of the month uh, in December each year. So. And you mentioned that this happens each year. If a vendor was interested in, you know, possibly being a part of this amazing event, how would they go about finding out some more information? Well, that's kind of a difficult question because we any vendor or artist that has been here in the current year we always offer it to them if there's an opening then I am able to reach out to other people but what I do have is a waiting list and I do want people to call and to give me their information because I can select different people depending on what you're selling and stuff so I would like to call me at 847-985-2115 so I can get your information put you on our waiting list and we will call you if there's an opening in the upcoming year. All right, so this event happens each year in December. We are gonna go check out the different vendors that we have this year. I am here with Brett and Preston today. Can you tell me a little bit about um, the company that you're working for and what you're selling today? Sure, uh, yeah, we are Teddy Bear Mobile Chicago. Uh, we have a selection of stuffed animals available. We handcraft uh, with our stuffing machine. Um, and then we've got accessories, backpacks, t-shirts, costumes that are all available as well. Uh, so yeah, basically people come up, they pick an animal that we want, we help them stuff it, and then they accessorize and go home happy. And that's what it's all about, making people happy. Absolutely. And um, Preston, I did hear that you're pretty involved in the community as well. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you do so? Sure. Uh, one of the things that we like to focus on is making sure that uh, we give back to the communities um, that we work in. Uh, we recently partnered with some um, a foster kid community uh, outreach programs, the Forgotten Initiative out of Joliet. Um, we worked with a woman, a local woman in Joliet. 
she donated uh, some of her time and resources. Um, we made available some of our inventory to her at a reduced rate so that we could give back to the community. Um, and we were able to provide up to, I think it was 125 bears uh, back to some local kids. So uh, we do PTA fundraisers, uh, we do charity events where we can either pre-sell our uh, stuffed animals um, and uh, deliver them to the kids, or we can actually show up on site um, and have like a stuffing party with the kids so that they can kind of engage and have a good time. Uh, so that's important to us that not only are we successful, but the community is successful as well. Well, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, stuffed animals, that makes people happy, and then giving back to the community. So yeah. it's just all around good feelings over here. Yeah. So thank we you do, for joining us and today. And we also do uh, birthday parties, graduations, any kind of special event that you want to do, uh, we, can, we can accommodate that as well. So. so if you weren't able to make it here today for the um, Holiday Bazaar, we'll put the contact information on the screen so that you're able to, to reach out to Brett and Preston. And um, for any of your events, it sounds like they'll be able to help you out. I am here with Mary Pat. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're um, selling here today? Yes, I'm selling Color Street, which are nail polish strips that are so easy to apply at home. All you do is peel and press on. Um, it's 100% nail polish. It's not press on nails or fake nails, but you do press it on. And then all you have to do is file it down and you're ready to go. It's already 95% dry, so there's no smudging, no chipping. You put them on and you go. And it has beautiful designs and colors that it'll look like you came from the salon for much, much less money. And if you're anything like me, where you get a little bit impatient when you're painting your yeah. nails and don't fully wait for them to dry, this it seems like it's the yes. perfect solution. Yes, it's so frustrating when you spend all the time to carefully put it on along with the design and then you go and pick something up and you've smudged it. So this is the best way to get your nail polish on without any of those smudges. And Mary Pat, for anybody who wasn't able to make it to the Holiday Bazaar today, is there a way that they would be able to order these um, online or how would they go about getting these? Yes, I have a Facebook page called Magical Mannies with Mary Pat and all you have to do is look me up and there will be a shopping link on there that will bring you to the catalog, that's the word I was looking <laughs> for, and uh, you can order directly and it'll be shipped directly to your house. Awesome, all right, so we'll... Um, Definitely encourage people to do so if they weren't able to make. Hopefully, people can make it out today. I hope but so. if not, that's and we a perfect have way. Lots of holiday designs. So if they have holiday parties coming up, this is the perfect one-stop shop so that you can pick it up and be holiday festive ready. It seems like it'll be the perfect stuffing, uh, stuffing for a stocking. I almost yes. couldn't get that one out, yes. but awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> I am here with Steve. Steve, there is some beautiful artwork behind me. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're selling here today? Sure can, Sophie. So what we have around here is a tribute to all veterans and any forces with flags. And we started off over here with the epoxy art. You can see over behind our backs over here. That is all on top of a pallet of wood. And the rest of our stuff is made out of pallets. So we cut out pallets right here with the flags. I don't know if the camera has looked over there. But there is pallet flags, we call them, and I cut those up and repurpose them so they don't go back into the landfills, and we tribute our, uh, all of our vendors. And can you tell me what inspired um, you to be doing this today here? To make it easier for everybody to display a flag if they don't have like a flag pole that's out in front of their house. Some people don't. It's easier. You can put it on your porch. Display it that way. So that's what we did. And I did hear earlier, um, now are you a veteran yourself? or mm -hmm. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about um, do um, proceeds go towards veterans? Um, how did you kind of think of this to, to get started? Honestly, right now, a lot of donations, and we look for a lot of donations to hand out to those in need. Uh, we do pretty much everything you can think of for the American Legions, the VFW, so on and so forth, and we get sponsored events for other soldiers that came home from other units that we're in with the Army. So, All right, well, as you can see, this looks like a perfect gift. Um, it is really neat because you can display the American flag, obviously, as a flag, but this is a really unique way to do it to kind of add that decor to your home. So Thank we so love much. it over here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> We 
got to speak to quite a few vendors here today, but that's not all that there is. There's um, so many vendors that came here today to show their support. Um, this event happens each year, so if you weren't able to make it today, please make sure that you come back um, for next year. It happens in December each year. And for more information on the Schaumburg Park Foundation um, and ways to give back, you can visit the website at schaumburgparkfoundation.org.